And there you have it, people. That's a wrap. Only mistake I made. What up, though, people? Welcome back to Easy E's Rebuilds. I'm Easy E. Y'all know the analytics. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And we back on the Honda Civic. I got to get this thing painted and up and out my garage. Get this more. Sorry for my friends. Get this up for sale. Because I have too many cars in my yard. Currently, we have nine cars in the yard. But well, we have eight cars in the yard. One car in the garage that make nine. And I just gotta get her finished. Just gotta, all the Honda Civic needs is paint and reassemble, be re really, oh, sorry about that, reassemble. So I guess I'm painting in this video. Still gotta get, still gotta do the rear spoiler, the wing, whatever you wanna call it. You still gotta get that all prepped and ready for paint. There's a lot of little disasters, gotta get prepped for paint. The rear bumper gotta get prepped for paint. It's been busy. I've been busy. I've been put all in different directions. Everybody want me to help them with the cars. So I've been neglecting these cars. Said again, new car donations. Buy new cars. But I just gotta get this one done. So um was that it? I'll be rambling. So I'll be uh like I say, I'm gonna hit this with some I'm hit this with some um 2K Transstar primer. So that's four parts. Paint, one part activator, one part hardener. I'm gonna try using that. Since people like to, after I paint these cars, people like to go scuff them back up or key them or scratch them and they scratch too easy using my other primers. I'm gonna use a hardened, a 2K primer instead of a 1K. Oh. And I know I'm getting fat, so the person in the comment section, Tupac secure, secure, every Tupac. I know I'm fat, but let's get into laying this first coat of primer on the car because I already taped it off I already sent already DA the whole car I already waxed and greased the whole car and I already tacked the whole car off and I already got the garage floor wet might have to wait it one more time because it is hot outside it's super hot got bugs all in my water but let's get to work And let's not forget people, I am not a professional mechanic, nor did I ever say I was a professional. I'm not a professional automotive and body and paint person. I'm a DIYer, I DIY everything. People show me how to do it, and I just do it, because we make it do what it do, baby. Now back to the show. So, 
there I have it now I'm just waiting for the car to dry according to the instructions should take about 30 to 40 minutes it say 20 minutes to put base coat but I gotta wait for it to fully dry I'm not about to because I'll yeah I'm not about to wait do it over and it's still wet in some places you can see where it's wet to where it's dry at I wait for it to fully dry to put my base coat because I did they only recommend you put in one coat on here but I did put like two coats in some areas just to use my paint that's why it's still wet in some areas some areas is dry like I didn't put no more paint on the roof or primer on the roof because obviously I kind of want to step out of reach up there because I got the car on jacks stands so I can get to the very bottom I got a lot of lint flying around in here I went around the lips of this car all around the edges with like a second little coat so it's still wet in those areas over here where I did a little body patch work I'm getting lint in my stuff already and I need to move this fan this is attracting lint got this fan for ventilation that's why I don't like painting in the winter time because I have no ventilation in the garage. I'm not saying it's it's turning around, it's turning out really good. I'm liking that 2K primer. It's got the hardener in it. And just for food for thought, y'all, this is not gonna be a perfect looking car. It's getting repainted because it was in a front end collision. So I had to find a new hood. Just go watch my other videos on the Honda Civic. Y'all see, new hood, new new core support, new radiator, new AC condenser, new fans. Pretty much everything is new on the front end. New tires, a new passenger side door, because the other one was all dented up and stuff. New gas door. I'm like, this is what I do. This is why it's called Easy Ease Rebuilds. I try to get these cars from Copart and put them back together and get them back on the road because everybody need cars. And once I'm done, it gets sold. And after I get done with all this, getting this car painted with two coats of base, maybe three coats of base, three coats of clear. Hopefully I don't got a wet sand and buff this whole car. Then I got to paint the bumper. I got to paint this. I got to do the side skirts. I got to do the spoiler in the back because y'all see clear coat peel. So I got to do all this. The little thing for, for the license plate the, where the lights go in. Stuff that all up and get that painted with this and all the rest of the stuff. After I get all this done and this get cured get it and get it out the garage. Then it's on to paint all the little stuff so I can re reassemble this car. Because all the parts for it is technically in this car, new headlights. Like, I'm just overwhelmed over here. Just overwhelmed. That's the spoiler off those cars out there. So y'all see out there? Look out there. Come take a walk with me. While we wait for that stuff to flash, look at my driveway. Got a car, car, my other car. Car, car, car. Car, car. Bumper for this car. Y'all slacking on my channel. Uh, over here, if the wind is blowing, I'm sorry for that noise. Then another car. Just waiting to get they got the title work done for that other car. I don't know what's going on with these mics? All that popping when the wind is blowing. This is getting, I'm getting so busy over here. I got car parts to other cars and other cars that I'm supposed to be working on. Y'all don't even want to see this one. The other donation car. I haven't really did no videos on that one. Or have I? Oh, I did one. Y'all see that. But y'all seen all. By the time this video come in, y'all didn't see all the other videos. So who cares? So I guess I'm gonna get back, go take me a little break. 
I don't even know where I was pointing the camera at. Go take me a little break. While this finished dry, curing and drying, it's almost done. As soon as all these little, these light spots look like the rest of the car, I'm coming in with some base coat. See, you even got the little tire booties on there. I'm getting more professional. I'm gonna use a super black base coat. You already know I use the U-pull clear coat. So, that's a wrap. I catch y'all back. Getting her done, y'all. That was two coats of base. Now I just gotta do the clear coat, and I'm already getting bugs on the car. Trying to get this done before it gets dark. We got stuff flowing in the air. Pollen season. One of the guys at work warned me about that. Watch out for pollen. It's hard to paint with pollen in the air. And it is every time I open the garage door. Pollen wants to come in and get on the car and I gotta retype the car off. Get all the pollen off the car before I lay any paint. So you can pollen right there if y'all can see that. I don't know if y'all can see that. We keep getting pollen on the car. It's not in the paint yet because the door does be shut a little bit, but when I open it up to get some fresh air in here. wants to blow in but she's coming out good got dirt in the paint as usual because I'm not painting in the paint booth I'm painting in my dusty old garage so if y'all like this video give me a thumbs up if y'all didn't give me a thumbs down leave a comment in the comment section below let us know how we doing go follow us on Facebook Twitter Instagram and TikTok is all links in the description area below. Hey, y'all know we got cat. We take cash app donations. We have merch at teespring.com, and we take donation of cars. If you haven't figured that out already, or if you're new to the channel, but thank y'all for watching, and keep on watching because I ain't done yet. I won't be done until I get the clear coat on. And then that'd be a wrap. Cause I, like I said, I gotta get the other body panels in here and get those painted. So I'll probably like two more videos on this car. I don't know. But I gotta get this car done this weekend. So keep on watching, y'all. And thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing.
And there you have it, people. That's a wrap. Only mistake I made. Look, see, always got bugs. There ain't no roach, y'all. My only mistake I made is when I was, I should have just waited to take the plastic off the sunroof. Because when I was getting down, I hit right here. I rubbed up against here and all this stuff is still wet. So hopefully, I don't know, y'all can see, I, I just threw another little coat of clear over there. Because I know how to fix it. The only way I know how to fix it permanently is to repaint this whole section and re-clear and everything. So I just threw some clear coat over where my pants, where I rubbed it against the paint and rubbed it off. Rub some of the clear off before it dried and cured. So hopefully I'll be able to wet sand this and buff it. If it still looks like it's wet like that, like it's glossier than the rest of the car. I can just wet sand it and buff it. But that's not like I said, that's not a mistake I made. Like I said, I'm not monetized. I ain't make a money off these videos. Maybe one day, one year. But this is what I gotta deal with. <laughs> Working in, in my garage. I try to paint cars in the morning because at night the bugs come out and they want to get all in your clear coat. They attract it to the clear coat. That's because of smell. So right there, I got a bug in the clear. Another bug right there in the clear. I was trying to get it done before that. Got a little paint run, little clear coat run right there. And that's from me painting the Savvy mirrors. So no problem. I did get all the plastic off. Yeah, I see that. Bugs all in my lights. Cause it is dark outside now. I've been working on this car. As soon as I got off work, probably at two o'clock. And she's all almost ready. So got more body panels to paint. Rear bumper, spoiler, side skirts. So with all that, y'all know what to do. Give me a thumbs up if y'all like this video. Give me a thumbs down if y'all didn't. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Let us know how we doing over here on the Honda Civic from Copart that I had since last year. And if you would, share this video with your friends and family on your social media. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to this channel. We have merch down at teespring.com. We take cash app donations. We take donations of cars. Anything helps this channel grow bigger and better. Because when I buy these cars, it come out my money. When I get a car donation, I'd be able to put more car money into those cars. Because they was free. They free. So I better put a lot more money into these cars when they're free. So, stay tuned and stay blessed. Peace.